Hi, uh, this video is about left view tab control. So here I have front panel here and uh, this is the block diagram. Uh, you can access the tab control by clicking on the modern here and then you can go on container and here you will find the tab control. So you just select this one and just drop it here. Okay, so I just did that one. Um, now uh, to save a space, I mean, uh, I can, I can, you can adjust it here, uh, and then uh, you can rename it. Okay, so let's say I want to uh, rename this one with the area uh, calculation. Okay, the the goal here is to um, I want to create uh, three tabs here, and each three tab I can um, select in three tabs and. Um, I, I want to calculate the area of three different shape. Uh, each tab will ask me for the different input and give me the output as the area of the different shape. Okay, so the first one will be let's say uh, to be simple. Uh, I want to put the square here. And the second will be a uh, rectangle. Now, uh, by default there is only two. If you want to add more tab, you right click on the last one, and then you say okay, add page uh, after. Okay, so that it will help, it will create the new tab, and this one will be let's say triangle. Okay, so these are the three tabs. So uh, now, if if I switch back to the block diagram here, I have this um, tab control in a block diagram. Uh, to switch over three different cases, uh, I want to, uh, I need to create the case structure here. So I can go in the structure, and then I can say okay. Uh, select the case structure here uh, and then I will draw according to this size here okay so once now once that one is completed I can give uh, tab input to the case structure and then it will change to my tab pages here okay uh, so square is there a uh, rectangle is there and then I can add case after here okay and it, then it will add the third tab here okay so now I have three tabs uh, covered here at the both places now first thing I want to add the calculate the area of shape so I need the only one input here and say okay uh, side of square okay now and then okay uh, this is in the triangle so I need to uh, delete that one I want to make sure I'm in the square here and then I will select and then numeric control so that's for the input I need to calculate get the area as output okay so here I can label as area of uh, square and this will be uh, side of square okay so that one is completed now I can go back here I want to make sure that uh, I am in the uh, square in the default case then I can put the side as the input here and the area as output okay now here now here I can do the numeric and I can say okay multiply here I can put this one now oh, I can give one as the input and same input as the other input as well so it will take whatever side and then it will multiply that and then it will give me the area here so that one is completed now we can test it out here if I run continuous mode let's say I want to give 2 and it's giving me area of square is equal to 9 I mean when I give 3 it is giving 9 okay so that one is working fine now we can go in the rectangle side uh, make sure you uh, switch on the rectangle here as well okay now I go back in the front panel again I need this time I need two input okay uh, for side number one again I need another input for uh, length width and this will be the area here okay so here I say okay uh, length and then width and then is area so that one is completed now if we go back to the block diagram here uh, rectangle area will go here 
length will go here and the width I can put here I will use the numeric then I will do the same multiply here this time I will take length as a un one input uh, width as another input and this will be the output connected the area here okay now we can test that one out as well I run the continuous mode let's say my length is uh, 4 centimeter or whatever that uh, inch or uh, scale and then I say okay so 12 okay so that one is the uh, is the area of uh, rectangle uh, similarly uh, we can do the area of triangle so I click on the triangle make sure here I am on the triangle as well and then here so for the triangle I need a two input here okay uh, so I need a two input one for a uh, base one for a height and indicator for area okay so this will be base here this will be height and this will be the area here okay, so now that one is in place I can go back here I can place this one area of triangle is uh, base time height divided by 2 okay so I, I need to uh, numeric here one is the multiply so uh, base will be one input to the multiplication uh, height will be uh, one multiplication uh, one input and then I need the division here so I will pick the device function here and then uh, this output will go as a one input I can create one constant here okay and that will be divided by 2 and then it will give me the area as output here okay uh, now if we check here now let me run in continuous mode and then I say okay uh, 4 times 2 and divide by 2 okay so that will give me the area of triangle so that's how this step control work here and now you can go in any uh, step and then you can find out the different area of different shapes okay so hopefully you like this, like this video about the tap control if you like it subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching okay, bye